Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another hot loaf cut up. Let me see if I can just move it across here for y'all. This is another Tiffany's hot loaf, a chunk loaf, and it's pretty, but it's a little bit smushed right there. That's nothing. Um, this one is in the scent. Can y'all see that? It's blueberry and lemon meringue pie chunks with funnel cake over pop. So let me just open up my bag real quick. Um, yeah, so these hot loaves I think were limited edition. She was doing them for Valentine's Day. I know the chunks, the hearts themselves, are part of her regular line, I believe. But the loaves themselves were just for Valentine's Day. So that might be it on those for now, guys. I don't think she's making any more. But if I'm wrong, you know, I apologize and please, someone feel free to correct me. Um, yeah, let's get into this. So I have my bag. I do have my wax paper. It's a bit grimy because I've been cutting stuff all day. I've got my crinkle cutter, which is also a little bit grimy because I've been cutting stuff all day. But like I keep saying, um, if a little bit of scent mixes, that is never a problem for me because they're mixed scents to begin with, right? I mean, that's why we bought them. So, get a little something else tossed in there with one chunk. It's not too bad. So, um, first of all, I'm going to try to get... I know this one is loose right here so I'm just gonna take him off immediately and put him in the bag because he will cause me drama later on and let's take this out now usually these come out really oh see no fall off okay so chunks went all the way down to the bottom and I don't know if y'all can see but there's like oil everywhere and I dropped it because it slid out of my hand this is the pan, and because I got smushed right here, there's a little bit of gunky right there, but that's nothing to worry about. Let me get rid of that. Get rid of this bag right here. Okay, so these chunks that fell off, again, I'm just going to pop them in the bag. And I'll show you something in a minute, guys. But I don't know really how I feel about it. But, see up here? All the chunks fell out. That's so sad. Like, boo. Alright. So the last one that I cut up, it didn't really work out that well for me. So I think this one, I'm gonna try to cut it slightly differently. And this might also be epic fail. But, at least I tried, right? So, because it is a hard shape, I'm gonna try to see if I can like cut the corners off, corners, and then kind of square it up and take it from there. So I'm gonna go from the middle this way first, cut this this curve off, and it's not going to let me cut exactly where I want, I think. Okay, this one cut, and I'll show it to you in a minute, guys. And then I'm gonna go this way. I pretty much just turned the rest of it into a diamond, right? So here's one cut, and these these things are coming off. Here's one cut, right? Here's the other side, and stuff just fell out of this side, so I'm not even worrying about that. Like an entire heart just came out. I'm just gonna move that off. And then here's the rest of it, and pieces are coming off still. Here's the rest of it, alright, so I tried to kind of square it up so I can just like cut it straight across, um, and I think I'll cut that first. It's not a perfect square, but it's not too bad. So let's see if I can get, I don't even know how much I can get from this guys, let me see if I can cut into this like to get three pieces. There's one. Okay, and that one just totally fell off. Can y'all see that? Totally crumbled off. So I'm just gonna put these in here as they are. And then whenever I pull out to melt and I realize I only have like one cent, I'll just pull out chunks from the other two cents and I'll put it in. But these hearts are not staying on at all. So kudos to all of you that could cut into yours and keep them pretty. I totally can't. 
and I'm not stressing about it either. Like, why stress, right? Um, okay. So, let's go again. Like, this piece is totally falling off of itself as well. So, let me just push that back. However, it will go. And let's deal with this piece first. Um, whatever's coming off, I'm just going to toss it in the bag. And then I'll probably do this twice. I'm trying to get this wax off of my fingers. So that's what I'm doing. Because again, I don't want to get wax on the handle. So let's do... Let's just see if we can cut this in half. Okay. This piece held together pretty well. This might be the only piece that's holding together. It's a big chunk, but I'm putting it in a bag as it is. This piece, like the purple in it, is trying to escape. My phone is going crazy. Really? No? Really? There's that. It fell apart in the pot, guys. This one. See here? I have naked overpour. Like, this is on the table. Alright. This is only overpour. So I'll definitely have to pull some pieces and drop it in with that. Alright, let's just get that out of the way. This one, let's just do this in half as well. Now it's starting to stick. Um, it is like almost 1pm here. It's really humid outside. I think it's going to rain soon. This piece isn't too bad. Probably throw that naked over point with this. Yeah, so I think that's why these are giving trouble now. Um, it's really really humid out it's overcast it's going to rain definitely um so you know but again the putting it into the fridge thing to kind of get it cold for a while don't do that it doesn't work this one i'm going to see if i can get halves of it so i'm gonna have to cut through the heart and i realize cutting through the heart is what the problem is so maybe if I go really slow. No, no, really slow doesn't work. So there's this piece here. Which is, looks like a sandwich. Isn't it cute? Or like a cut into macaron or something. More naked overpaw. Naked overpaw. There are all the chunks that were supposed to be in it. And then let's just do this piece over here. There you have it. It just made my job easier, didn't it? Um, let's cut straight down this way. Alright, that's it. This isn't a bad chunk. I mean, there are two good scents plus the overpour attached to that one. Same thing over here. It's not too bad. And then here are just all of the leftovers. So I'm just going to pick these up put them in the bag because there's nothing wrong with these. Um, they were just being antisocial. So they didn't want to be with anybody else. They were like, I'm going my own way. Too bad for you. So that's what they did. Little did they know they have to go back with everybody else, right? And I'm just rambling on now because I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, that's it basically. I am going to probably have a couple more of these to do. I may just film them in hopes that one of them actually cuts up the way that I want it to. And then I'll be like, awesomeness! I know what to do. Until then, I'm just giving you all these like hilarious videos that you all can look at and be like, that's not how you're supposed to do it. But anyway guys, that's that's that. Um I'm not going to fight with that anymore. I'm just gonna stretch around my hands out. So, let me just wipe my hands off real quick, and I'll show you what it looks like in the bag. Let's pull that over. So here's the bag, with the chunks in it, and then that's what it looks like inside, and you can see all that crumbly mess, but I'm sure it'll still smell great, so I'm not really stressing about that. Anyway, that was that, guys. Um, Epic feel, like I said. No stress, no worries. So, give you all something to look at. Um, yeah.
any comments you all have to make please feel free to leave it down below um any suggestions you all have to make please anybody if anybody knows how to make this work better please feel free to share please yeah because i'm really tired of massacring these things and then showing y'all and y'all be like sure no she done really why should you keep filming these things so yeah that's that so i'll see you again soon guys bye